Well, so I was telling, um, these are some sketches of the 3 e bike, uh, which I also made the 3D model of, and it's also uh, you can also find it on my profile. Uh, this is just a regular car coming through. Um, here's some more sketches of the 3 e bike. Um, here's some more sketches with some details of uh, where I'm thinking of during the process of design. Um, what kind of lights, uh, how is the engine placed, uh, how is my uh, drive shaft and everything, uh, what kind of suspension, how is my uh, my suspension arm and how how to travel, um, what's the sitting position and how, lo how does the display look and well things like that. And this is a more detailed sketch of the bike, it doesn't really it's not the perfect uh, design. It's 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 a better sketch, but as you can see, the perspective doesn't really work like it should work. But okay, it's it's a sketch, and you can really see what I mean. And if you look at the 3D model of it on YouTube, you will understand what I'm uh, trying to tell. Another car. This is a bike designed a bit like Grasshopper. This was my inspiration just for fun. Well, I made this car a bit bigger and with some changes to it. Oh. Um, an old kind of car, not really fantastically. Wild sketches, probably made in the train or in bus, probably in a bus. Well, this is uh, something I made when I was on holiday. It's a bit um, based on the new line of Peugeot. It's it's a bit more something like an RC or something like that, 207 RC or something like that. But it's a it's a bit bigger, a bit bigger than uh, the 207 is right now, and a um, bigger bumper and everything. Uh, this is more the the fast catch, like face of the car. So, some raw designs. This is a bit of an American car I, I was thinking of during the holidays. A long stretch car, big wheels. Something like this, I really like that. So, you know. Well, it's another just sketch. Well, and uh, because I take a lot of pictures um, with my uh, new camera, new kind of lens, I can really get close up, so... I see a lot of bugs and beasts uh, up close, and that's why I draw this. Uh, yeah, I think it's a dragonfly kind of thing. Old car. I, I really like to build or design uh, an old Formula One car, uh, old Mercedes or something like that. I, I was trying to add something like that. Well, this is a bike I um, I designed during work, actually in my head. Um, I had to do very simple work just before I went on holiday, and uh, I I always had a lot of time to think. And when I'm thinking, um, yeah, thinking is something I just love to do. And this is a bike I designed in my head during work because the work was so lame. Um, well, it's it's an old kind of Grand Prix bike, but then um, brought back to more like a chopper kind of feel. Um, the bike really looks quite simple, but uh, um, the tubing of the frame really makes the bike interesting. The detail on the on the engine and everything really must, um, you know, get the people to look at it and appreciate it. Um, in here, with this bike, I'm I'm really having a hard time deciding if I want um, a thick, heavy front end. Or if I want uh, the Springer front end, the Springer front end, of course, looks a bit more, you know, the the old style, the old school look. Um, another difference for people who have a bit more experience with bikes and engines and car and everything will notice probably that there is a V-twin, in, but the V-twin is uh, not l in length, but it's in the width of the bike. Um, 
from the drive shaft the pulleys uh, go to the transmission and from the transmission there's a drive shaft to the rear wheel that's how uh, we don't use chains or sprockets to get the power to the rear wheel uh, in the 3E bike I use uh, a scroll um, that is uh, uh, directly connected to the rear wheel so you don't see sprockets or anything it's it's uh, it's just a, a roll uh, that hits the rear tire and um, the gearbox um, uh, gives power to that roll and when that roll turns it actually turns the rear wheel that's how the 3E bike works that's the other bike I showed you before um, this is something uh, I like to talk to you about um, this is a sketch of mine and it's a bit um, it, it's uh, an Opel Cadet GTE 77 Coupe um, and it is used in the rally if you look at a normal Opel Cadet GTE uh, 77 Coupe um, well it's a normal car um, but I like to do something to it you know and um, that's why I'm a custom body designer. If I do something to it, I look in the history of the car. And this car was a lot used in the rally sport. So I want to give the car that um, the aggressive look that it had in those rally days. So it has wider and round wheel arches. There are body kits, but there are square wheel arches, not round like like this. Um, I changed the hood a bit because uh, I wanted to put a turbocharger on it and uh, as you can see there's the air intake goes into the turbo and the air is cooled in front of the engine that's here on the the, the air hole here and um, it cools the air and then goes in the engine so to get there comes cool air, air in the engine and of course uh, the turbo has to be cooled so that's where the second uh, air intake comes from um, what I like about this car is uh, the lamella back windows and um, well, I'll put some other style features. Very simple interior, cave uh, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, cave construction in, and you can see it here worked out a bit better. Well, and, and just give it that old rally look, rally feel. Put some new kind of things on it, a splitter for a bit more grip, a little spoiler on the back, you know, things like that. Really give it a more aggressive look but still keep the old feel and look to the car and that's what I really like and that's custom body design if you ask me uh, well I think that was it for now that was my sketchbook bit a uh, bit of my ideas and uh, well I hope you like it and um, please if you want to share something with me please do and um, well maybe we'll talk to each other soon so let me know